HIM TV people! Right then, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I deem as the advantages of making bespoke box work, uh, unboxing things in Empire work and making access panels. So there's a few tips in there for you and it's also probably the last in this series as well because we've pretty much come to the end of this so there's a bit of a walk through there. Uh, you can see some of the finishes and some of the things that we actually do but predominantly the theme of this one is box work, big fish, little fish, cardboard box kind of thing and the advantages of it. If you like the vibe, hit subscribe people. HIM TV. This is the probably the last video now, the last update of the Santos Grottos pro, uh, project. I named that because that's where I spent, spent this Christmas. Um, we've got a little bit of scaffolding here to come down. It's just going to be a very, very quick walkthrough to show you the almost finished project. The paint, painters are in now, so we're not far off from finished. So we've got some white featured walls, some great woodwork. Oh, and it's nice. We've got some crazy ass uh, wallpaper as well, so it's all different. And here's a little tip for you. Is, as you can see, this is laminate flooring. And you can see it goes all the way through. So what we do, this, this stuff in my hand here, it's called Corex. It's a protective stuff. So, so how we like to put laminate flooring down to do a decent job, or what I think is a decent job, is I like to lay the laminate flooring down first and then put the skating board on top of the laminate, you can see. The reason is because otherwise you've got to put what's called Scotia beading. So you'll, have, you'll sometimes you'll see beading going between the skating board and the floor all the way around. I personally don't like that, so I think it looks better this way, but obviously it then means you've got to put the floor down first. Then put the skirting boards down and everybody's walking over it so you can get you can get damaged so get yourself a bit of corex oh it's beautiful so this is the downstairs first room so i'll put the camera up there so you can see and pan because can i see you wallpaper obviously got the ensuite inside there and that's where I've just walked in. So it's a nice big room. Got some cool lampshades. Um, so this is the living room, the communal. So again, we've put the cardboard on top of these worktops to save them because obviously they're still getting used. The staves are getting damaged. Some more feature walls, some wallpaper, some white brick. So Another tip, this is probably the tip of the video, or the theme of the video even, is box work and the advantages. So as you can see above my shiny bald head, we've made a box. Um, I like to put these high level, and this is what I class as my media box. So inside here is, we put, put a couple of sockets, and if you can see higher up, I'll have to tickle it with my thumb, I'm trying to hold it up. Um, so that's where we put the router. So we like to try and put it relatively central to the building. We'll put a router in there. We put the power supplies for the router, power supplies for the network switch, um, and all the Cat5 cable goes in there because obviously it's quite a mess. So with it being high up, it's out of the way. It's behind a door, but then everything, everything that you need electronically wise is inside there. And also if we're actually installing CCTV into these houses, that's another place where we put it. So clearly like a little media center cupboard. So this is the kitchen, so if I stand over here, you saw the video before, this is the wall that we took out to open it up and personally I think it was a good decision because I think it's great. Um, so what have we got, we've got like a concrete, concrete style work top in there, with like a grey, a grey sink, so that'll look cool when it's done. Good thing is when we get, well it doesn't matter where you get your kitchens from, but the kitchen cup, the, the kitchen doors and the cupboards that come protected in this, um, this cardboard, we take it apart 
obviously it's exactly the same, it's the, the perfect size that you need to, to sort of protect it because it's the same size, the doors are the same size as the worktop pretty much, so instead of throwing all the cardboard away, you can utilise the same cardboard, so I take it up like so, a bit like Blue Peter. Uh, so right and so, going on the theme of box work, so I've just showed you the media centre, um, I'm not seeing. I'm not sure if you've watched the playlist for this sort of set um, of, the, of this this project. But if you'll remember, you'll have seen a trench come from here in front of the chimney breast and go outside there, which is where the drains are. So this is where we put the toilet pipe, the one ten pipe for the en suites. So be, so here is the ceiling. The one ten pipe came all the way down. To there and then you can see the step we've made here and it goes it goes through that way into here look and then under the floor and straight out underneath that window so that's the that's the root of the 110 pipe so because it's quite an unsightly thing what we do or what we've done in this particular scenario is we've cut two holes there so the perfect size to get your hand in you take out four screws or six screws and you can pull that off and then behind there if it ever gets blocked we put um, an inspection chamber and a uh, rodding eye inside there as well so we can actually isolate from above to here in case it gets caught on the, on the bend and then just outside the window outside we put another inspection chamber there so we've got many many points where we can get access to try and clear the blockage if we get one but when it's behind there it just looks a bit tidy so, another tip, box it in baby, make it look pretty. This is an unvented cylinder, so because we haven't got a fantastic amount of head height, now I'm sort of stood here doing the splits quite a bit because I need to reduce my height. Um, but obviously some of these unvented cylinders can be quite tall, so if you've got a tight space, um, a good idea, or what I think is a good idea, is you can actually get a horizontal cylinder like this, and these old sort of Victorian houses lend themselves quite well because it's already got it's already got a built up piece of um, brickwork. So once it goes on the feet, it's perfect. And obviously, if it ever does get any sort of water in here or any sort of flood, it's going to it's going to collate at the bottom. So it's still not going to be accessed. It's just not still not going to get to this. In a worst case scenario, I'm talking now. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's a regular thing that's going to happen. But yeah, so you can get horizontal cylinders, people, for those that don't know, so you can use them in different spaces, so you still get the capacity, but you've just not got the height. So yeah, this works quite well. So it's kind of a top tip, or a bit of information. Again, going back to the theme of box work. So this is inside the ensuite. Now, I'm not exactly the smallest person, so forgive the camera angles. So we've got the toilet here, give it a tickle. Um, we make some simple box work, it's a little bit of MDF, we'll paint it up and this is obviously boxed in the, the, the 110 pie. Again, boxing it doesn't cost much but it does make a big difference on the finish, it makes it look a lot nicer. And it still makes things accessible. So. As you can see there, it can all be pulled out if needs be. And the same that side of the toilet, between there and the shower. So behind there, we've actually got isolation valves. So we can turn the shower off. If we ever need to change this T-bar, if it goes faulty in the future. So we always put service valves in strategic places. Oh, look at this crazy weight wiper. It's like the... It's like being on LSD. Ooh. Imagine that. So, a bit of box work that we've done here. So, obviously, this is the original chimney breast, but the bed's going to be going alongside here that way. So, we've made a bit of a box work there. So, with a, with a socket right on my finger, give it a tickle. So, you can plug in your mobile phones or whatever else. So, rather than having the bed next to it and it's just a big gap where everything falls down, a little bit of box work just makes a flat surface bed can go against it and you've made a little shelf so it's, you can be utilised, you can even put a little lamp in there or something. 
So just a little example of, of more box work going along with theme. So we've got plastic panelling. Done other videos with regards to the difference between tiles and plastic. I prefer plastic personally because it's one piece. There's less less chances of getting any leaks or cracks in the grout, creating a capillary action for water to go behind. But that, that isn't some of my other videos. So can you see the silver thing here, this isolation valve? Well, on, on the front of this, let me just turn this around now so you can see. On the front of here, we'll have what's called a plinth, so a piece of plastic that goes around there. So all we'll have to do, if this, in this particular shower, this T-bar ever goes off, or full team we need to change it, we'll be able to go down there, turn, turn it with a screwdriver, which will top, stop the power of the water going to the T-bar, we can quite simply then just take it off, change the T-bar, open it up again and we haven't had to drain down the entire system. Well that's that tank I've just shown you in the cellar, we won't have to drain any of that down. So it's a good idea and a good design to do things like that. And it doesn't cost much to do, it's just a little bit of thinking in between, thinking in front. So this is the loft room. So we've got the ensuite behind me. Again we've got some brick wallpaper there. So obviously been freshly plastered, feature wall, I'm trying to watch where I'm standing now, forgive me. And now short lines. We've got a good painter in here, haven't we? So we're going to be having a desk here, the bed's going behind me there. And this is the back bedroom, the last bedroom. That's quite nice, I think. Quite like that. This behind me was previously, this is the top floor, so this is where the, the, the copper cylinder was before, and then the header tank was here for the central heating. So what we've done is we obviously we've ripped it all out, but utilise the space, put a lid on it, and make it into a bit of a walk-in wardrobe. So it saves your buying a bit of furniture. And that's always a bonus, because this will outlive anything that you can that you can buy. This is nice and quirky, with funny lines. So you can see the toilet there, the sink, and then the shower. I hope you've got some little uh, tips out of this that might help you going forward. Um, like I say, the theme of this one is box work and the advantages, or I hope, you've, I hope I've explained you well enough. If you like the vibe, hit subscribe, and I'll see you later, people.